Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in a Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm going to talk all about page navigation. So page navigation has been available in Power BI Desktop using buttons for a while. And now in the latest release, I think it's like the May 2020 or June 2020, something somewhere around there, they added this new conditional page navigation feature. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I'm going to show you the old school way. And then I'm going to show you the new way to do this. All right. So instead of all this talking, you guys know all I like to do, and especially since this is the two minute Tuesday, which is going to be just a little bit longer than two minutes, two minutes. Um, what I like to do is do what? Head over to my laptop. All right, so let's say you have these three pages and you wanna provide end users with another way to navigate with that's not the tabbing across the pages. So you can use buttons, right? The old school way is to use buttons. So we'll click, the way you set this up is you go to insert in the ribbon, click the drop down for button and you click, you can choose any one of these. I'm just gonna choose blank because I wanna add my own text to this button. So what I'm gonna do is select this button, go over to visualizations, turn on the button text, and then I'm gonna type Germany. That's the page I want to go to. And then I will repeat this step for each page in my report that I want to have the navigation for. And then I will go down to action, turn it on, change the type from back to that page navigation and then choose my page. And then I would do that for every other page in the report. So I would go to the next page, add a couple of buttons, go to the next page, add a couple of buttons, configure the navigation, and it would work. And it works, right? It seems tedious, but it absolutely works. But recently, not too long ago, they added another feature that makes this a little simpler and requires a few more clicks. And that's what I want to show you in this video. It's pretty nice, all right? Let me show you. Okay, so instead of doing the button route, instead of doing the button, it's a lot of clicks. What you can do now is you need to have a, you need to create a table or use a table that's part of your model that contains a row for each page. OK, and so you can import that from SQL or Excel, wherever you want. I'm just going to for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to enter data. I'm just going to enter, create a new table. We'll call this page name and we'll call the name of the table navigation each row has to have the exact same name of the page that you want to navigate to. If you don't want to navigate to that page, just don't include it in your list, right? When you're done, click load. So the first step, step number one, you need your data. The next thing you want to do is create a slicer, right? You create a slicer that contains, it's really easy, let's put it over here, that contains a list of the pages that you want to navigate to. So we're going to drop that there. And there's my, my list of pages. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna format this just a little tiny bit. I'm gonna format this a little bit. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the slicer header, turn on the title, and I'm gonna call this navigation, page navigation, whatever you wanna call it. We'll call it page navigation, right? And then what I'm gonna do is change selection controls to single select. Cause you only wanna, I only wanna allow my end users to select one page at a time. And then made a tiny little mistake. Let me turn my slicer header back on. I'm gonna change this to a drop down. Then I'll change my, turn my slicer header off. All right, sorry about that. And then before I move away from this, before I move away, just because I want to make it larger. I'll increase my font to about 14. Okay. And then I'll squish this down a little bit. Squishy. Now, all right, we have our drop down. And then you set up your page navigation. So instead of creating two buttons or three buttons or a button for each page on every page, I just need to create one button. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to use an image. I'm going to go to, let's see. I'm going to go to my video file here where I have this image at and I you can download a copy of this image if you want to use it okay, there's my little image shrink it down a little bit bring it on over hello little image there we go there's my go button so when you select your <laughs> when you select your there we go when you select your page then you will click go and now you just need to configure it you need to configure the action and it's really simple select it turn on the action change the type to page navigation watch this you're gonna really like this change type to page navigation and now you can see the conditional formatting for the destination so click the conditional formatting button accept fill value change it to guess what the page name and just choose the first one because it's only going to be one in the list click ok and that's it now choose the page you want to go to so if i want to go to france since i'm in a desktop i need to hold down control 
click go, takes me to France. Right now you're thinking, Patrick, how do I get back? Well, now we're just copying and pasting. We're just copying and pasting to every page. So I'm going to use the, the lasso selector here. Control C, go to Germany, paste it. It's going to actually do you want to sync. Don't sync it. Then go to France, do the exact same thing. Don't sync it. And now, right, I can choose United Kingdom, hold down control, click go. And now I'm navigating through my pages, through Germany. Let's navigate, boom. What? This is bananas, this is great. And so now I'm minimizing my clicks. I learned some clicks and I minimize my clicks. What do you guys think? Are you using buttons for navigation? Thinking about replacing them with the new conditional nav? Let me know, right? Do you have any challenges, struggles, questions? Let me know, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button, if you like my video, the big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.